Hey guys, Central Homeowner coming back at you at the 1940s farmhouse. You might notice a few less face whiskers. Shave that off. As I start working on lead, I've got to wear the N100 mask or P100 mask. And I cannot obviously have facial hair because then I don't get a good seal. But uh, proper lead protection is always important. So today's update, I'm going to get the floor joists in place. Um, make to make sure they're in the lo proper location i'm going to measure off the outside beam come in 16 on center uh, and make sure that i have the proper spacing all the way across um, this last one i think is going to fall wherever it falls but the uh, the mid spans will be in the appropriate locations so i will start getting those measured out uh, i've already got a couple cut here on the outside or on the far side here um, i need to trim off this is sticking over a little bit if you can see just maybe a half inch i need to trim that off so i can get those flush i will get to work and bring you guys an update later today when i get towards the end of the day um, if you're curious on how this project ends up just uh like and subscribe keep in mind this is just the laundry room and the bathroom that i'm working on now but this is about a thousand square foot home and I'll be doing a lot of this all the way through the house. So I just happen to be starting here. And all of this flooring is going to get replaced from here all the way around. So if you like what you see and you want to see some updates, subscribe and hit that like button. And we will talk to you this afternoon. So we're making some headway here. This is where we stand. You'll notice the gap in there is pretty wide, but uh, I had a 4x4 four four right there in my way. And so what I've done is um, this is set at, uh, that's just set where it had to go and uh, equal distance all the way. This one here, I set this side at 32 on center from the outside edge of the three ply. And then, I'm, so I'll do that 16 on center from there. And then marry this up. Um, but that's it. So if anybody's curious, because these are undercut. <clears throat> this is a 2 by 8 And that's 4 foot overhang here. Or 4 inch overhang. And so I, I used a, these are LU24s or LUS24s. Let me look real quick. Ah, these are uh, LUS24Z, so they're zinc coated for use with pressure treated lumber. And I'm using the screws instead of the nails just because it's easier to work around everything in here. Um, but, uh, and of course, nailing things in. I'm nailing the, the plies up in the center um, and then nailing those to the 4x4 brace. But that's where we stand now. I'll go ahead and finish this up and get these in. And then we can go from there. I am going to run into, I think, another issue down here. I'm hoping I don't fall. I, I hope I fall somewhere not in the notch. Um, although the notch might be a good place just because I'd have a thicker piece. I might do that, actually. We'll see. Um, but of course can't fall at the 4x4 that won't work too well so um, I'll keep going and uh, and then once I get it all set up I'm going to spray with boric hair and then let it dry because that's going to smell like terribleness I'll spray everything down with boric hair and then we'll go from there but, uh, I'll bring you back for an update here shortly hey guys finishing up on the day here and uh, thought I'd show you guys the update so So, got the floor in, uh, ready to go. All the floor joists are in now. Got them all leveled off. Um, not too bad. Uh, you can see right there, some boric hair with uh, mold control. Uh, and then I have some other boric hairs, plain boric hair, that I'll augment with um, to treat for termites. Um, but... 
this is cut i've already fitted in place there's a bunch of edge cuts if you can see those to go around four by fours that are in place and so forth um when we do the kitchen this wall's coming out i decided and so that little stick up is just to fill in where that that door is or that hole in the wall is there um and then uh this board actually lines up <clears throat> on that floor joist there so that's almost it for today uh, we decided there's going to be no windows on this wall and i am going to zip sheathing zip sheath the outside um there's blown in insulation i don't know if you can see that so i've got to <laughs> i've got to pull all that out of the wall i'm also there's going to have to be some fire blocks uh up here because this is wide open matter of fact let me grab my flashlight and i can show you what a bloom frame house looks like <clears throat> so this used to be a doorway of course turn my flashlight on but if you can see well that's a little bright let's go down anyway you can see the insulation up in there um there's a board on the way let me go this way so you can see all the way into the attic so uh for fireproofing purposes i will block that and uh you know if there ever is a fire it can't get into the attic as quick um and then i will insulate up to that block you can actually see the the air blowing up through there <laughs> anyway if you ever have a fire in a balloon frame house it's bad news um but we'll get that taken care of uh and then once i get this sheathing on the outside i'm gonna pull all of this old planking off it's a tongue and groove planking it's uh all full of lead and um not really they am not really worth saving at the moment i might hang on to it and maybe later on shave it down but that's where we stand floor is all in uh, once i get this floor piece in i gotta climb under there and get the plumbing up through the wall that'll be pretty simple um get all that ready to go i will have to run the uh the new water lines for where the bathroom's gonna go but um i can also do that i might stub that out and just have it under the floor uh the bathroom layout is gonna be if we come over here and look this is the current let me turn the light on so you can see a little better <clears throat> Uh, so this is the bathroom as it stands toilet here and the vanity here and then the tub you can see where it was the new layout the tub will be across the back wall that'll be closed off uh, and it'll be tiled up um, and then I'll have to build a pup wall in here I might build shelves into it from the shower side um, not sure on that yet but we'll get to that but uh, what's going to happen is the vanity is going to be here it's 30 inches you can actually see where that goes to here on the wall and then the tub will come out to here and that gives you about 30 36 inches for the toilet to sit in and uh, so it'll kind of be a standard standard bathroom in a modern home where you come in the door and you got a walkway the tubs there toilets next to the tub and the vanities here when you first come in so Anyhow, that'll be that'll be next once this room's finished. So, uh, if you're curious to follow along with everything, uh, make sure you subscribe and hit that reminder bell. And uh, you know, I'm trying to put something up every day as I move through this project. Uh, I might slow down a little bit once I get back to work. I'm on Christmas holiday right now, but um, once I get back to work uh beginning of january you know it might be a couple videos a week as i work in the afternoons and get things taken care of so um like i said if you like what you see or you want to keep up with what's going on um and how to kind of air tighten a 1940s house just uh just subscribe and i'll uh i'll keep you updated as we go along take care guys